Good afternoon, everyone. It's Jake Burkett with Real Broker. We are in the southern part of Las Vegas. We're in Southern Highlands in a guard-gated golf course community, the Enclave at Southern Highlands. Beautiful home. We're going to take a look at this mansion, mini mansion. Let's go look at it. Here we are. Uh, going to give you just a quick little taste of the community before we go in the house. That's the home right in front of us. It's 10,153 square feet. It's on a 31,000 foot lot, five bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's got a five car garage, unique. It's like three cars or three separate garages, total of five cars, but beautiful home, big home, big backyard, wonderful community. You got this park right in front of it. You got a water feature pond right over there. Some beautiful landscaping. So it's just a great house. And here's how we're gonna tour this home. We're gonna go in and we're gonna go right upstairs to the secondary bedrooms, to the parlor, to the gym. We're gonna come downstairs, check out the uh, primary bedroom, another bedroom, kitchen, living area. We'll go out to the backyard, pool, sport court, kind of check all that out. So um, here's the house. And hey, is before we get too far, if this is your first time watching our channel, please like, subscribe, follow us, engage with us, comment. We do these home tours just to help you explore the area, learn what different communities have to offer, different price points, different types of home. What we really do good is help people buy and sell homes. So that's, uh, that's our primary job in life. This is just a uh, fun project, passion project that we find very helpful and useful to uh, all sorts of people, our clients, people who aren't our clients, just help you inform and educate you on the Las Vegas, Greater Valley housing market. So that's that. You can check our description and websites. I flashed my information down below so you can check that out too. And let's, uh, let's get inside this house, shall we? So you can see great, great landscaping in front. You do have artificial turf. So while there's a lot of vegetation, low maintenance, Nice big grand entryway into the house. There's some people inside it, so just don't worry about them. We'll go straight upstairs and check out all this stuff downstairs in just a second. So let's go up. All right, we made it to the top. Just kind of give you a little slow pan here. And then we'll head into these uh, secondary bedrooms and check this house out. Uh, this is bamboo, in case you're wondering, the flooring here. We do have uh, upstairs laundry room. And got a couple secondary bedrooms over here. Big high ceilings, balconies. That's a great view, huh? That's pretty cool for a secondary bedroom. Of course, all the bedrooms are en suites, so they all have their own bathrooms, walk in closets. Here we go into this bathroom. So, this one's set up for a, uh, a young young child there's the sink area here's the closet so decent sized closet right kind of come back around here slowly here's a, a shower tub combo right there and then we have the toilet right there so that's secondary bedroom number one and let's pop out and we'll look at secondary bedroom number two. All these rooms, of course, are large. We do have a lot of dark paint in this room, so it might appear a little bit darker, but this huge, huge balcony, we're gonna go out to it from one of the other rooms. I just wanna show you this room, it's nice and big. And here's the bathroom on this one. So we'll just kind of look at the uh, sink area here first. Shower tub. Kind of give you the full vibe of it. All right. And we have a bathroom there, of course. And here is the closet for this one. 
Touchdown. So yeah, nice closet. All right. And we're gonna look at secondary bedroom number three. So all really big bedrooms, all really tall ceilings. You got tray ceilings, you got crown molding. And uh, we'll take a peek at this balcony. And you'll, you'll get a peek of the backyard, which is really cool. So like I said, huge balcony. This shares it with the room that we just came out of. Don't mind the dogs. So we're gonna be out here in a bit. But let's keep on with the interior. No. It's got a great kitchen. It's got a great living room downstairs. The primary bedroom is, is impressive. And uh, here's the bathroom on this one. Another shower tub. Got a bathroom right there. Got some cool wallpaper in there. Got a nice sink area right there. Hello. And here's the walk-in closet for this one. All right, so we've seen the secondary bedrooms upstairs. There's two more bedrooms downstairs. One's like a, uh, a guest suite and then the primary. There's a really cool parlor upstairs. We'll just check out this closet right here. It's a really big linen closet. So you got extra linens. You got a really big linen closet. Store a bunch of them in there. All right, so we got this little catwalk. This catwalk does look down into the Living room, well, one of the, like this would be like the formal living room, greeting area for folks coming to the house. Some big, huge windows right there, the fireplace, big mantle. And uh, yeah, here's your upstairs like parlor, call it a loft, call it a living room. Got these big, huge windows. You can see the mountains off there in the background and the mature landscape is so good it covers up most of the house. So that's just like a great picturesque view out of the, uh, the loft, the parlor, whatever you want to call it here. So we got a bar back here. So a nice bar. It's got a closet. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff in there. So I'll kind of give you a little view from the backside here. So yeah, if you're entertaining, this would be a great place to be hanging out. Got a TV, a bunch of built-ins over there, a couple fans. Do have another balcony. This one is not connected to the other one, so. We'll hop out, show you a little bit of it. Just gives you a nice view, way off in the distance over there. You got the mount, start beginnings of Mount uh, Charleston, so that'd be the northwest part of town. Got the Shoal Mountains way over there, north part of town. Kind of another panoramic shot here of the backyard. All right, let's go back inside. Check out the gym. Of course, it's a gym, how they have it configured, these current owners. But you could change it into anything you want. So. Uh, these folks have it as a gym. Always good to see a Peloton. I got one at home myself. So, nice big room. And they have the, uh, the flooring is protected. It looks like it's got about a half inch flooring put on top of the, the bamboo floor down, down below. So. All right, so the cool thing is, is we don't have to go up the primary stair. We don't want to miss this bathroom. We have a three quarter bath up here. So got a you know, shower, walk and shower there. Pretty cool bathroom. Anyways, we don't have to go down that same primary staircase. We have a secondary one, which is going to kick us out right by one of the garages, backside of the pantry, lead us into the kitchen, guest quarters. All right, so those are the stairs we just came down. Just pop in here, show you right, right through there is the front door. Uh, the main entrance of the house is right there. Just want to make sure I capture everything. So we do have a half bath down here. So cool little one, right? A little toilet over there. And then we have our first garage that we're going to take a look at. Just your standard two car. Just got a side-by-side -side and a golf cart in it. So it's probably a little deeper than standard, but you know, nice size garage. Here is the pantry. So you got a big walk-in pantry, right? Kind of show you it all. Through that door is the kitchen, but we'll enter the kitchen from the front side. Got 
Got a couple uh, additional cold storage units back here. And then a little more storage, which is under the stairwell there. All right. So as we come around the corner here, this is a, a downstairs bedroom, but first we like closets. So you just got extra, extra closet there, storage. So if you had in-laws, someone who couldn't use the stairs and they weren't gonna live in the primary, this is a great bedroom for them. It's large, just like all the bedrooms, super tall ceilings. This one does have its own entrance into the backyard as well. So there's that into the backyard. Kind of pan back here a bit more. Walk into the bathroom area here. Nice large bathroom. You got two sinks. You got your tub right there in the center. You got your second sink over there. And a pretty, pretty decent sized walk-in shower right there. And you have a nice walk-in closet right here. And then you have the bathroom. All right, let's pop out into the living room and the kitchen area. So here we go, it's our first look at the kitchen, which is also with the living room right here. So we'll peek at the kitchen right here. You got this nice semicircle, got some granite countertops, you got a different color one on this interior island. Got a little prep sink right here. Got Viking appliances. What's this, like an eight burner cooktop over there. You got a pot filler, big hood. It's all matchy-matchy with all the, uh, the cabinets and whatnot, so everything's kind of hidden. You got your double ovens over there, dishwashers right here in the center. And then here's your other sink, another like prep sink area, right? Kind of looking out. Microwave. Yeah. Kind of similar circle around way. You got an ice machine right there. And then right there, you got a big side-by-side -side freezer, fridge. And then you do have this like little port up here. So you got windows bringing natural light in, but not like direct sunlight like a skylight would. So pretty cool. All right, so living room, we got these big beams up above. Kind of breaks up the ceiling a whole bunch, it's nice. Before we go check out all the living room and hop outside, we do have another bathroom right here. So, got a bathroom with a shower. So if folks are out by the pool and this, there's a the door access right here to outside. So if people need to come inside and use the bathroom, they can without having to come you know, through the whole house. And if they need to shower off for whatever reason, they can shower off right there. All right, so here's the rest of the living room. And we're gonna check out the backyard and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna go to the primary bedroom and check that out and that'll, that'll conclude our tour. So also have another little wet station over here. It's got a really cool sink too, so check this one out. I'm not sure what you'd call that, but it's neat. Like a little river shaped sink or something like that. So kind of aesthetic, as my daughters would say. Got these windows that'll open up, so if you are entertaining large groups of people, open up, you have a bartender working here, and they're serving drinks inside, they're serving drinks outside. And here's just a outlook from here. Do have a formal dining area right here, so it's really nice. Got that cool little circular roof right there. Got this big window right here, kind of framing the backyard for you. You can see what's going on out there. This is pretty neat. Everything's always negotiable, right? So it's old wine barrel uh, for wine storage. You can see the little racks in the bottom there. So, all right, let's go, uh, let's go take a peek in the backyard and then we'll get to the main entryway of the house, which we kind of breezed through because there were some folks there, the primary bedroom and there's an office and the other two garages. All right, so before we hit the pool side over there, we do have a full on outdoor kitchen right really big outdoor kitchen 
it is covered, so if there's inclement weather, you'd be sheltered from it. You got a big barbecue, there's TVs, ceiling fans, ice makers, fridge, nice little sitting area right off to the side here. And you have, so that's a, uh, a gas port coming out of the ground right there, so you could put a nice fire pit right here. And there's the two doors. That's the bathroom we were just at. And that's the downstairs like guest suite uh, entrance to the backyard. Good little area over here for grass. If you have kids or if you don't have kids, you could get rid of all this. Just a nice sitting area. All right, we have our large pool. We're gonna hop out this and check it out. Some great water features. You got like a little kiddie pool area up here. So you got like the shallow side. So right where, you know, you could be sunbathing, hanging out. And you have a shallow area if you got some young kids. Just keep an eye on them because they go through those two little access ways out there and it gets deeper. I'll we'll stand up on this. There's our pool. There's our hot tub. Uh, there's a couple small dogs here, so you probably hear them barking. They're just over in their kennels on the side of the house as to not disturb us while we're here. Another stunning area over here. And here's your sport court. A little bit smaller than a pickleball court, but you could you could play some pickleball there too. And then here's, uh, so this is where the dogs are over there. It's like a dog run area too. This is the primary, which we're gonna take a peek at in a minute. And this is just kind of giving you a view of that back side of the house. So it's large, very large. All right, so let's, uh, yeah. And then you got an outdoor uh, dining area here as well. well. Let's go back inside. And we just got a great primary to check out and uh, we'll get you out of here. There's some folks in the front, so don't worry about them. There's our entryway. And there's the uh, the front door area. So there's an office there. It's just a nice big office. I'm not going to go in there because some other folks in there. And I don't know that they want to be on camera. So we'll just give them their privacy. I do want to show you the other garages. So here is the other two-car garage. So there you go. All right, let's head back in. And this is the laundry room, which we'll hit in a second because it's attached to the bedroom. You do have your own little massage room right here. I do apologize if it's kind of loud. And here we enter into the primary. Got a nice fireplace, gas fireplace, you got your TV, a lot of windows, you got your sliding glass door that takes you into the backyard there. There's your entryway in. You got these two big French doors. And you do have a little wet station in here, right? So if you didn't want to leave the kitchen or go to get your coffee in the morning, you can make it right here. You got a fridge, storage, got a little extra sink, more closet space. And here we head in, right? So nice big, big mirror. Nice little vanity right there. And that's the bathroom right off to the right. All right, we have something, we have two toilets in here. So if you wanted, everyone wants to have their own toilet, you could do that. This door leads just out to the backyard where the little pooches are off the side of the, the house. Using this as a shoe closet. So I've got a lot of shoes in here. And there's another bathroom right to my right toilet. That would be right here. There's our jacuzzi jet tub 
And here we have a big walk-in shower, so it's kind of uh, deceiving, but it's, it's rather large. Go in there, got a couple of shower heads. Plenty of privacy in there. And here's the other sink area. Hello. And then over here, we're gonna go through another closet. Not just shoes, we do have clothes in here as well. And this is gonna take us out into the laundry room. Just trying to go slow here so you can see it all. I know if we move these cameras too fast, then, then it gives you vertigo or something we don't wanna watch. We want you to stay engaged. We appreciate you. And here we have the downstairs laundry room. So if you remember, we had an upstairs laundry and we also have a downstairs laundry. So that's really nice when you have different living quarters in the home. Little mud room right here. And this is just a large single car garage. So we've got a full size SUV in here. So that makes up your five car garages. We have three separate, we have a two, a two and a one. And that's this house. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, please get in touch with us. If you have any questions about buying or selling a house, is it a good time, is it a bad time? What is your home worth? Any of that stuff, you can check our description, hop on our website. My information is flashed a couple times. Just give me a call, that's my cell number. You call me, you text me, I'm gonna answer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hand you off to somebody else. Thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't already liked or subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did that. You have a blessed, amazing day, and we'll see you on the next home tour.